What's up? Long Liver Turtle here, and check out what's behind me. It's the prototype Turtle Basker 1000. All right, like I said, right here is the Turtle Basker 1000 prototype. It's got a couple of different ideas mixed into one here because I'm testing it out because this is going to be a Turtle Basker. It's going to hit the market in hopefully about a month, maybe a month and a half. There were so many requests for me to make a basking platform for people that resembled the ones I've made in my past videos. And this basking platform is something that I've kind of engineered to be manufacturable at a reasonable price that I can sell on the market. So I just want to give you a quick sneak peek on what it looks like right now. So if you're interested in this, keep an eye out on my channel because I'm going to post when this is finally released. I'm going to sell it on Etsy.com and I'm super excited to get that underway. You'll notice it's an above tank basking platform. It optimizes any sort of tank they're going to use this platform on because it lets you fill your tank up completely. That's what aquatic turtles need. They need a full tank and this basking platform is going to allow you to do that. There aren't that many options on the market and this basking platform is optimally designed for 17 to 18 and a half inch wide with trim tanks. So again, super excited to get this out there on the market for people to buy. Your turtle's gonna love it. This is the tester to make sure everything is working before I send them out to people. And hey, I got a couple more updates on what's going on with my tank, so let's take a quick look. All right, I'll be careful not to show too much of the turtle basker. Whoop. Because I'm not totally done with it and I don't want to show what the product is if it's not a final product. So you'll notice if you've watched my previous videos that there's something missing in my tank right now. This is my 75 gallon aquarium. It's got Harold in it right now. Yes, Moses has been in there before. I switch around, see which ones like it the most. Harold's back in here. But you'll notice that my convict cichlids and my suckerfish are gone. And tragic news for the suckerfish, but the reason they're gone is because my convict cichlids, there was a pair, a female, a male. You know what they did? They made little baby convicts. They made all sorts of babies. They made like 50. And with convict cichlids, not the greatest thing that can happen because they are super territorial and they will protect their brood to the fullest. They basically took over about 85% of the tank. It ended up, unfortunately, kind of cornering the pleco, which they went for. They never went for the pleco before, but once they had that brood, the pleco was fair game for absolute intrusion into their gigantic space that they thought was all theirs. So the pleco got cornered and I think Moses got him. Moses herself was totally pinned to like 15% of the tank, really didn't like coming over to this side because she would get totally bullied and then come right, go right back and she was kind of seemed a little depressed in there. And then the other two male convicts I had, they were totally cornered and couldn't really move without one of our parent pair going all the way across the tank to scare him off into the corner again. And it was totally depressing. Unfortunately, what that means is I had to take out the convicts and I took all of them out because I'm gonna put the three males, so I have three males and one female. I'm gonna put the three males permanently down in my 100 gallon where there's a little bit less perfectly engineered cover, like that little potted vase section over there, because that was a perfect place for them to stake a territory that they would really, really protect. And it got really annoying for the turtle and it got really annoying for the other convicts. So three males are gonna permanently be down in my tub downstairs. They're down there now. And then my female I separated because I didn't want her to be part of that territory anymore. I know I sound like the absolute villain when it comes to this convict pair because the poor babies, but had to remove the pair. I'm gonna introduce the female back into the tank once she's kind of forgotten all about this. That way it's kind of a fresh look and it's gonna open up a lot more possibilities for other friends we can try to house with Harold here. So yeah, that's kind of unfortunate news, but also it's gonna be something new that we get to work on in this tank and downstairs. The convicts so far are doing great down there and I'm not worried about them being in that 100 gallon. They don't have as much cover. They got a big fish and big turtles in there that are gonna be a little bit more overpowering than they are. And if you missed in the last video, this is our glass DIY aquarium cover. It's doing awesome. Everything's still operational. Nothing's fallen apart. Nothing's bent, nothing's warped, nothing's broken. So this project's doing great. So if you're looking for a super easy DIY glass cover, don't wanna buy one from the store, don't wanna spend the extra expense for two, look at that video and 
follow along and hopefully you'll build that because it came out really handy. It's super clear, perfect for an LED strip light like this. You can customize your build so you can accommodate your filtration or anything else you have going in there. So that worked out really well. That's just an update on that. It's been a couple weeks now. So just proving to you that it's not just a one week and done sort of DIY project. It's doing really well. This video is just a quick update. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Long live your turtle.